Strength in numbers, that's been the motto in the latter part of Steph Curry's tenure. The Golden State Warriors are 9-2, and two, and their two biggest stars is Steph Curry, Curry and man. aging Draymond Green. It's not to say that the Warriors suck or anything like that, or like that, that just means they're trash, but it's just very peculiar to me, and I, I really want to get more deep into that fact about the Warriors and this very improbable run. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Gatsunju. And today we're going to be talking about this very interesting run by the Golden State Warriors to start this NBA season. The Warriors are 9-2, and two, and we're going to talk a lot about what is going on and why this is happening. And before we do that, though, make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss another video. I'm going to be posting a video every week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and also turn on notifications. The Golden State Warriors are doing something that no one expected starting this NBA season. If you had the Golden State Warriors being 9-2 and two and being second in the Western Conference on your bingo card, you were lying. This is an amazing start and is the last time that they had this amazing start was their 2022 championship year. The Golden State Warriors are looking, they're looking like a championship team right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Stephen Curry, he's been amazing this season. He's He's been, in my opinion, the best version of Stephen Curry since that game seven game against the Sacramento Kings. He's been doing that with his running shooting co-star. And if you guys know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Buddy Heald one of the greatest shooters of all time in NBA history. Speaking of Buddy Hill, one of the best additions in the offseason to the Golden State Warriors. He's been amazing off the bench. He's been, he's been doing a lot for the Warriors, getting them very clutch buckets, very big shots, very important shots. Uh, for example, when he got that big clutch shot against the Boston Celtics, you know, when it was like 104, 108, and he just had like that amazing possession with Seth. Yeah, that shot. So he's doing that in every game. And he's done it in a few couple of games too when Steph wasn't playing. For example, in the Pelicans game where he had just started torching them in the fourth. And no one was stopping him. He's just, he's, and he's not even the only person. And he's not only doing it at an offensive part. He's also playing good defense. Steph as well is also playing really good defense. Terry Stotts, he was a great addition to the coaching staff, too. He has really maximized the shooting duo of Steph and Buddy alongside Steve Kerr. And again, I hate to bring up the 2022 season, but th this squad really reminds me of them. And no, no one more reminds me of that 2022 self than Andrew Wiggins. You could tell, like, whatever break he had gone through, through the lower parts of his tenure in Golden State, he's he's really turned a new leaf. He's he's really, uh, you can tell that like, he just looks mentally better, and he's playing with a passion, of playing with driven, playing inspired basketball. And note that Jerry Stackhouse, who the Warriors had recently signed this offseason, has been barking up at the bench. He's really letting these guys know that defense wins games. That's what the Warriors mantra has been this season. It's actually been more defense than offense. As the Warriors have been locking these teams up and the Warriors game Warriors games have not been as high scoring as you see in other NBA games. The highest scoring game they've had up to this point was the the Dallas Mavericks game. Another player who has been great for the Warriors has been Kyle Anderson. Even though he's not as impactful as per se uh, Steph or Andrew, he does the little things that matter, like getting really important steals, shooting uh, important shots when we when no one is getting offense going. So that's kind of the role that Kyle Anderson has fulfilled in this Warriors team. Uh, one of the biggest examples was the Boston game, where they were kind of not really doing anything offensively from the Warriors side, 
and Kyle Anderson just made nine straight shots, you know, for the Warriors when they needed offense. That was like my biggest example of something I saw of Kyle Anderson really showing that he can do things when the Warriors really need something. You know what I mean? So that was a really uh, important part, uh, in my opinion, of that, that was a really important signing for the Warriors. Uh, and a quick shout out to Lindy Waters. Um, that guy, um, he's been amazing for the Warriors coming off the bench. You know, he's clearly very young, and I, I kind of see a little bit flashes of you know, you know Jordan Poole uh, 2021 season before you know he blew off and blew up in 2022. You know, he's kind of has that little desire to just shoot the basketball, and I, I think that's going to be really good for their depth later on. And the number one thing that we person we really need to be talking about number one person we really need to be talking about in my opinion has been Draymond Green Draymond has been playing sensational basketball and though it doesn't show on the stat sheet just looking with the eye test and seeing what he's done on the floor the blocks the clutch steals that Dallas Mavericks game was one of the best Draymond performances I've seen since probably 2022 it was it was amazing to just look at how Draymond at this at 34 years old still playing at an all NBA defensive le- level, and you know the quote that he had with Rudy Gobert and the Victor Wembanyamas, but telling people that you know he should be in that conversation too, and honestly he should. He's still playing at this elite defensive level at age 34. The Warriors have done a lot of good things this season. Uh, do I personally think they're legit contenders? Uh, right now, I don't necessarily think they are contenders to win the championship because uh, I still need to see a little bit more. Um, I think the Warriors need to make a, a trade for a, a center, in my opinion. I think they need to get a big, uh, kind of like Tracy Jackson Davis, uh, kind of get another one like him. Um, he's been really good this season as well. Uh, I think they need uh, just another big uh, their tallest player is Lily Tracy Jackson Davis and Kayvon Looney, and they're both six nine. Like we, they need, they need a big. They need to get a little bit bigger. And apart from that, uh, that's really what's going to set them apart as being legit contenders. But as it stands, if I was to pick between the Lakers, Pelicans, uh, just th- that bottom playing spot, uh, I'd probably pick the Warriors to be the team more likely to make the playoffs this year for sure. I think the Warriors. We'll make a lot of big moves in the in the trade deadline and eventually become actual legitimate contenders. I'm just gonna say it right now. Warriors are doing something that we already knew. Just keep your best players, the players that matter. They let go of Clay in the offseason to free up cast space so they could sign players that can fulfill the spots that Jordan Poole and Clay fulfilled when they're on the team, but do it better. And that's just the formula now in the NBA. This is how you win. The Warriors are kind of just proving what we already have known for the past two or three years, that you don't need a star and, and, and another star and another star with a bunch of random role players to win a championship. All you need is one and the great complementary pieces to make your team a championship contender. The Golden State Warriors are doing just that. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time.